Okay, it's day 103 of this yellow onion germination experiment. As you can see, growth is pretty robust. You know, it didn't take long for those to get used to being planted in soil. In fact, I think they're doing a lot better now than they were in uh, my pseudo hydroponic solution, and later on my actual hydroponic solution. So this is what happened to the places where I created wounds with scissors and I kind of bisected the living tissue. So I would recommend just cut um, away as much of the dead tissue as you can without cutting away the live tissue because it's going to end up wrinkly and dead like that anyway. And here's another case. And here's a third place where I cut. And the fourth. So you can kind of see the holes in there still. So over the next few days I expect the tissue to die back further here for example and close off this wound so bugs and you know, dirt and harmful substances can't get in. So in terms of height, you know, the four plants from bulb two are doing nearly as well. They're almost as tall as, you know, the tallest plant for bulb one. And this other plant from bulb one is doing the least well, you know, it's been cut because it had leaves that were kind of wilting over and, you know, dying so to speak, although their bottom half seemed to be fine. So I don't really know what that was all about, but it seems like the growth is really, really robust for bulb two. Okay, it's day 104 of this yellow onion germination experiment, so time really flies. But for this series, we really started on day 70 something, so and all those other days in the beginning, it was just sitting in the fridge, and there's a lot of robust leaf development. I guess that's a pretty good shot. Um, this is what used to be bulb 2, it has four shoot systems, and over here you have bulb 1, and you know I trimmed some of those leaves, but everything's doing pretty well now. Bulb 2 isn't without its trouble spots, I mean this is slightly yellow, if I shade it it's easier for you to see, and this is another trouble spot, but other than that everything seems to be going great. So yellow onions have shallow roots after all, and I'm worried that they won't be able to get enough water in such a big pot solely from the watering tray at the bottom. And I kind of add a little bit of water in there, a lot of it soaked up into the soil. And this is going to require a lot of water, probably just because it's in the direct sun most of the time. But I think for the time being, just me wetting the soil near the bases of all these stalks will really help. Okay, it's day 108 of this yellow onion germination experiment. So things are going very well. You know, there's a few yellowing of the tips for the bulb that had four plants, bulb two and bulb one had one plant that had some leaves that were wilting, dying at the top third or so, or the halfway mark. And I kind of cut those and that caused a little bit of further wilting and shriveling to close the wounds, but Everything seems to be doing fine now. You know, there's um, new growth too. So, if you look over here, that's a leaf from this plant, you know, the one that had all the cut leaves. And here are the cuts. So, I don't know what really happened over there. I assume it was just because it was getting overrun by mold and the hydroponics setup. So, after I put these in dirt, you know, the problem probably went away maybe not completely but it's uh, greatly diminished because the mold now has to compete with soil bacteria and maybe other kinds of mold and microorganisms you know there's a lot of springtails in the soil this kind of potting mix that you buy at Lowe's or whatever you know Home Depot so those springtails will eat decaying organic matter and that leaves fewer rotting onion peel for you know, um, the mold to attack. But at the same time, I removed most of those rotting layers, the one, the fleshy ones. So there's essentially not much for those mold mycelium to get into and eat and generate all those large fruiting structures and keep repeating that vicious cycle of mold reproduction. So here's a close up of the water dish. And you can see some silt kind of moving in, you know, since I'm tilting it. So basically, 
So I'm going to silk that in there. This is not a whole lot of water left, but I think I'm going to start watering from the top exclusively because onion bowls have really shallow roots. And I doubt these yellow onion roots have gone long enough to exploit this plant spa watering system, at least for the time being. So here's another look at the foliage. You know, it's gotten long, but you know, I don't think anything's exceeded 30 centimeters really. It just sort of stays at this length. Um, perhaps there's a physical limitation how long these hollow leaves can get, you know, because they're not very rigid. A lot more rigid, certainly, than my vine leaves, you know, like for honeydew and sweet potato over here, you know. So these aren't quite as stiff as, you know, actual succulent leaves, uh, you know, cacti leaves not even close so we'll see if these things can get any longer I don't think they can get all that much longer I'd be surprised if they could get more than like 30 centimeters you know like 40 50 centimeters because then they'd start to really bend and almost be in risk of falling over but you know this plant uh, has nice foliage in its own right if you look at the build of this plant, it's steadily growing upwards and new leaves keep sprouting out. It's sort of like ginger in that respect. And it's these new leaves that are very long. So I have no doubt that this plant has recovered already. And you know, if you look at this leaf, it's it's almost like the maximum. This other plant is more shallow, you know, it had six leaves last time with the sixth one being very underdeveloped. I think the leaf that was still underdeveloped at the time is now this one, it's very long. As far as what was formerly known as bulb number two, these four plants are doing very well. Um, I can't see any problems. And you know the thing is I think at some point these will have to get some separation from each other. Maybe their bulbs down in the soil a few inches will push each other apart. At least that's what I'm thinking because in nature there would be nothing to kind of take the four plants apart and put them you know at a minimum soil distance from each other to allow room for growth so you know I assume this is going to produce four bulbs in the future so we'll see if these actually push each other apart it does kind of seem like they could be doing that but um I don't know how they're gonna make you know symmetrical bulbs maybe they'll just be four fat bulbs kind of tilted all towards the center as they're pushing each other apart so the last time I said I didn't think this was a very thirsty plant I still think that holds true based on the leaf structure and the low amount of surface area per leaf compared to many other plants so but the problem is the roots are pretty shallow at least I think they still might be shallow um, they don't seem to grow very fast at all so I'm going to go ahead and water from the top and not from the bottom, at least for the next few weeks, I think. So I'm going to water a little bit here. And just as long as I water near um, where the roots are going to be, then they'll be fine and get plenty of water. Let's see. I'll water a little bit from the other side too. Okay, it's day 111 of this yellow onion germination experiment. Been a lot of growth. The uh, leaves are just longer and falling over in all sorts of directions, kind of radiating outwards. Uh, if you look here, for example, if you look here, you know, this leaf belongs to this plant over here. And it's fallen over a lot. Um, I guess that's just the natural progression of leaves of this plant species. And the parts where I cut are all kind of further withered away so I can kind of trim these down but I definitely don't want to be cutting more healthy tissue eventually those leaves might just all be lost completely but you know that plant has plenty of other good leaves here and over here the four plants that came out of bulb 2 are doing great 
No real problems. Uh, there is a little bit of dying here.